Okay, so if you've been following me on Facebook, you'd know by now that I've actually left Pittsburgh and I'm now in Detroit. So Detroit, we're here for the Powerhouse Classic, which I am really excited about. Um, Powerhouse is a gym which is just located close to the venue where we're actually going to be competing tomorrow. Um, it's Bev Francis Gym Chain and um, amazing gym. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this gym here and I think that I'll actually be getting up early on um, Sunday morning before I fly out just so I can go train there again. So um, yeah, um, Detroit has been really good. Like what the area that we're staying is really nice. I had a lot of people warning me about coming to Detroit, but um, yeah, I guess like most places you're going to have your good and bad parts and um, where we're actually staying is really nice and um, I guess bonus things for me is just the gym So and this shopping centre just across the road. So yeah, we're um, obviously now in Detroit, um, had an amazing time in Pittsburgh, really enjoyed just um, relaxing, training. Um, I also got to do a little bit of sightseeing which was quite good as well. I had a fabulous time at the um, Pittsburgh show as well. It was um, really good to be part of such a massive team and also to have my um, Beauty Fit um, sponsor there and just the support from them. So I've been so lucky on this trip and um, for an Australian girl to come over here and to have support from Team Bombshell and then also my sponsors Team Beauty Fit, like... It, it's actually been amazing and they've made me feel so welcome so I cannot thank people enough because I just uh, like a couple of years ago when I turned pro I was so scared about coming over here and not knowing anyone but it's been incredible like the amount of people that I've actually ran into even tonight I ran into a couple of pro bodybuilders and yeah they knew who I were and I saw Aaron Stern as well and then another beauty fit um a sponsored athlete as well so it's been really good and I'm just so overwhelmed by the support and like from everyone it's been great and the people here are amazing and I'm so excited to come back again at the end of the year so um, hopefully you guys will keep on following my journey and I'll keep you up to date more with my training I've actually got like quite a big bombshell that I'm going to drop um I'll wait until after comp though so um, I'm really excited um, and got my goals set on um, the next step of my journey as a pro athlete and um, I can't wait to tell you all you guys. I think that, um, yeah, it's a really good decision that I'm making and, um, yeah, I'm excited for it. So, but first things first, tomorrow. So, I've already got a coat of tan on. We've just been downstairs, had an athlete meeting Um I've got to do another coat of tan before I go to bed. So it's getting close to 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, got to have another coat of tan. Um, and then I'm going to try to get a decent sleep as well. Um, we're actually staying at the venue where the show is as well. So it makes it so easy to, for tomorrow. We don't have to be down there until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And the one thing that I've noticed over here is the way the shows are run. They are so quiet week it's unbelievable so we'll be down there 10 o'clock go on stage um go on stage at 11 they'll have the physique uh, men's physique pro first followed by figure and then they'll have bikini so as soon as i finish um we're finished until seven o'clock so we've got such a massive gap that we can just chill out relax keep on eating then go do the night show and, and it's over quick so um, that's one thing that I loved at Pittsburgh was how fast everything went, which is really good. So um, after tomorrow night, I'll just go down, have a bit of a feed as well, um, just for a post-comp thing, probably go out with a few of the girls and stuff because it'll be the last time I get to see them in a while, which would be quite sad. But um, yeah, I'll get to spend a little bit of time with them and then we fly out early on uh, Sunday morning. So we're going straight to Miami. Um, I've got a photo shoot on the Monday, which is really good. So mouth so shut, one meal, no sugar. <laughs> I've got to be good um, for my photo shoot because I've got an amazing opportunity. Thank you to um, my sponsor. So I'm um, really excited about that and you guys will see why soon too. So... All in all, like, it's, it's been such an amazing trip and I'm, it's not over yet and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, 
not looking forward to carrying my bags again. We've already got issues with things being overweight because someone's been shopping a little bit too much. Um, so we actually have to buy another bag, believe it or not. Um, but other than that, I've been, yeah, carting my food at the moment. I'm carting a lot of food because I don't, um, at this hotel, they don't actually have kitchens or anything. So I had to prepare food for... Um, the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so yeah, I had four days worth of food that I had to cook and lug that in my six pack bag. And thank God that was full to the top. And I think that I would have weighed about five kilos. So, um, I'm so thankful that, that for the invention of a six pack bag, it's just been incredible and a lifesaver on this trip. Um, so yeah, that's just a, a lot of baggage and stuff to carry at the moment that it makes it hard, you know, being a girl, you want to take everything as well. And then you want to buy everything too. They have no taxes on shoes in Pittsburgh. So I had to buy a couple of pairs of running shoes and stuff. But, um, yeah, other than that, like I've just been having a blast guys. Like I've just, I absolutely love it over here. Just the variety of foods and everything like um I, there's so many people eat crap over here but it's so easy to eat clean and there's so much variety like it just it blows my mind with the whole food stores and stuff what they have and the the price of fish like orange roughly is half the price of what I would pay for in Australia and it's like my favorite fish in the world but yeah it's just I, I really love it over here and I've, I've been enjoying every minute and um there's so many people out there that have just made it amazing and it's been such an exciting journey and um, I'm looking forward to coming over for more shows and sharing it all, all the experience with you guys. But um, yeah, it's just shows that you believe in yourself and that's where it all begins. So once you start believing in you and that what you can achieve, then you get to live your dream and I'm totally doing that. So yeah, it's exciting. But anyway, I've got to get off, have a coat of tan get this makeup off and have a nice rest. I've got a couple more meals to eat as well. And um, yeah, I'll keep you guys all updated. And thanks for following me in my journey. And um, I'll be sure to check in again with you soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.